We did it! We did. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it was easy, because it wasn't. It wasn't easy, but we had a good time, didn't we? Yeah, there were always ups and downs. There was some weeks where it was easier than others, but we got through it and we feel better for it, right? Yeah, we do feel better for it. Today we're going to be talking about our Peloton challenge that we just completed, and we're going to be comparing our results from our first control ride with the results from our last control ride. Is it still a control ride at the end? Yeah, I guess so, because you're... It's the... It's test. the control. The test, isn't it? <laughs> we're gonna be sharing those results with you. If you wanna check out any of our past weekly wrap up Peloton videos, where we went over the pros and cons and the things that we were enjoying and not enjoying along the way throughout this challenge, we'll link to the playlist up here so that you can check in with those. We're actually gonna jump straight into this. So we did two different kinds of control rides. Peter did a distance based ride at the beginning where he just, you went 10 kilometers, didn't you? Yeah, so I did a 10K ride as quickly as possible, basically. My control was doing a certain 30 minute workout ride and then doing the exact same 30 minute workout ride at the end of the challenge and measuring my output in kilowatts and how much that had changed. All right, Peter, let's hear it. My first ride was 19 minutes and 26 seconds and my total output was 178 kilowatts. And that was your first control. That was my first control. He's so much more fit than I am. <laughs> so 1926 and then my last ride was 1736 and 208 kilowatts output. That's amazing. Yeah. I don't know. Oh I my mean, gosh, that's be, really good. It might be really average. Sorry, for... say that again. Yeah, how long did that take you? 17 minutes. Jesus. He's way more fit than I am. I didn't know whether to stay on the same resistance mm -hmm. the whole time because like it seemed I had a high resistance but was pedaling slower. But that's kind of an uphill climb. So yeah. I had it at a lower resistance, like constant and um seem to get faster. <laughs> um, my results, I feel, are a little bit skewed. I'm still really proud of what I achieved between, and I'll share mine in a moment, but before I do that, I just want to mention that uh, on the day that I was supposed to be testing, I had a very bad stomach virus. And the last thing I wanted to do was strap my feet into bike pedals while I was wearing spandex. So <laughs> I think you can all understand why that didn't happen on the day it was supposed to happen, which was day 31 of this challenge. And I ended up taking, I think it, I had that flu for five and a half days, at which point I still didn't feel like physically ready to jump back on the bike because I was absolutely exhausted. So I took three more days off to get kind of some of my energy back and then I got on the bike and I measured my results. So with all of that in mind, I'm still really proud of what all I did. All the excuses out the way. All the excuses out the way. You know what, I'm gonna pop a video up of me actually doing this challenge on the day, the first day back on the bike. Here we go. I throw up, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, that's brutal. Full transparency, you know, those exercise burps you do that end up being a bit more than an exercise burp. Yeah. At least you know you're trying your hardest. I you can't did. really try much harder than that. The first ride I did, it was a 30 minute workout ride, and I ended up going 7.61 miles, which is pretty pretty good. It's a lot slower than Peter. And then I had a total output of 165 uh, kilowatts. That was my first control. And the last control I did, which was after all of those flu excuses, I went a total of 8.45 miles and I had a total output of 207 kilowatts, which I was really happy with. But now that I've heard how many kilowatts Peter did in like 17 minutes, you're like twice as fast as I am. Can do twice but as I'm much. taller. And this is why I married him, because he's making me feel better, even though he doesn't have to, because he could just take a compliment. You're really fit. You did really well with this. I you did really well with this. We also have to quickly go over our stats with our workout part of this challenge, because we weren't just riding the bike, we were also doing a floor boot camp workout, and that was really hard. <laughs> yeah, I didn't measure like how many rounds I would do. Oh, you didn't keep track. I didn't really keep track, but I okay. felt like the exercises were a lot easier at the end. Before, I was lagging behind the instructor 
And at the end, the two people would do like a regression and a progression for each exercise. And I was keeping up with the person that was doing the progression, mm -hmm. like the full burpees or the full press ups and all of that stuff. So. That's really good. I kept track of it all because. Me, I'm Jerry, and I keep track of things because I'm smart. I can share with you my actual results. So my first control with the floor boot camp workout, which is the Friday, the end of the week on the Friday. First test day, I got six times through the first round of exercises, and I also did plus deadlifts and full rows. So I almost, I got like 6.66 of the way through the exercises. And then I got through eight side lunges, which were weighted with six modified burpees. And then at the end, when I tested again, I got seven times fully through with another round of deadlifts and rows. So I added a full circuit into that time, which is, I, I'm really happy with that. And then I had eight side lunges and eight knee burpees again. So I did modified burpees again, but I got up to eight instead of just six, which I'm really happy with. Awesome. Was it worth it? Was it worth the time investment of doing this for a full month? Because this was a lot. Like we went from being somewhat physically active in a general sense, like we go on lots of dog walks and, you know, we're active in the garden, but we weren't weight training or lifting prior to. We weren't doing any uh, focused strength building exercise time. <laughs> Words. Words. <laughs> We weren't doing any of that. And we jumped straight into this and we did, basically it was six days a week for four weeks with a test the following week to see what we did. Was that worth it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Like how much is the subscription for just the workout cost? If you just have the app, I believe it's £12.99 a month for just the app. It's definitely worth it. If you're going to do like mm -hmm. three times a week, like one pound a session, so you can do it in the comfort of your own home, it's way cheaper than a gym uh -huh. and it's just much easier isn't it so if you want to watch our progression in the playlist we'll pop a link below yeah above, we'll pop a link below, below and above um, in the comments and up here on the screen and if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more from us we make content just like this not just about the peloton bike but also about our self-employed lifestyle here in the dorset countryside and what it's like to do that very nice stuff. <laughs> if you want to keep binge watching our content, here's something that we think you would like, and here's something that YouTube thinks you would like. Okay, bye. From our first test ride to what is that? Our control. We're gonna be <laughs> we're going to be comparing the results from our first. How did I forget it? <laughs> control. Today is gonna to be mostly about our results with the with yeah balls. This is what happens when you don't outline a video and you're like, I can just do this without any extra work. <laughs>